Okay, so surface area and volume. Uh, this shouldn't say triangular prism. Sorry, Tita pointed this out to me. Thank you, Tita. The should say cylinder, because that's not a triangular prism. It's a cylinder. Yep. Now, um, we want to I'll first find the surface area, and we're going to do it in terms of pi. So I'm going to write the generic formula, which is, um, well, let me write it up here as okay, the surface area is going to be equal to the really the lateral area plus two times the base, right? And what's the formula for the lateral area for a cylinder? It is going to be the circumference, which by the way, the circumference can be found by having two pi r. Okay. Times the height of it, which is given. Okay, now two times the base. Okay, two times, what is the area of a base, uh, area of a circle formula? Well, it is pi r squared, and I'm going to include that for you on the, on the quiz. Now, what does it mean to do it in terms of pi? Well, this is what it means. You're going to leave pi as pi. You're not going to cal calculate it as a number. So we're going to pl plop in all the numbers that we know. We say 2 times pi times, what's the radius? The radius is 4 that's given to us. And I'm going to actually write the numbers that they give us in a different color. Okay, times the height. And what's the height? They give it to us as 13. Plus 2 times pi times the radius squared. And what's the radius that they give us? They give us a radius of 4. Okay, so writing it in terms of pi what they're asking us to do is not calculate pi, but we're going to say, let's calculate all the other numbers. So we do 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. And 8 times 13 is 104. So I'm going to put 104. Oops. And remember, we didn't multiply by pi yet. We just did 2 times 4 times 13. So we do 104 pi. And we're not going to multiply by 3.14. We're just going to leave that pi at the end as a multiplier. We know it's multiplying 104 times pi, but we're not going to put in numbers for pi. We'll keep it like that. Okay. So now for this part, we've got two times. Well, let's do this first. Okay. Four squared is 16 and 16 times two is 32. So we've got 32 times pi, 32 pi. And now we just add them together. What's 104 plus 32? It's 136, and we need to put times pi. And this is surface area, so anytime we have the units of surface area, the units are squared. So the surface area of this is 136 pi inches squared. That's how you write it in terms of pi. Let's do the... the okay, so volume is... The area of the base times the height. But we have a specific formula for the area of the base for the cylinder, for a cylinder. It is area of a circle, pi times the radius squared, and then that's times the height. So we say pi stays pi. The radius is 4 squared times the height, which is 13. And that gives us then pi times 16 times 13. And we multiply 16 times 13, we get 208 times pi. And what are the units? The units were inches. And since we're talking about volume, volume is always cubed. So the volume of this is 208 pi inches cubed. And if you wanted to know pretty closely how many actual cubic inches there would be, you could multiply 208 times pi and get a final number. But that would be, by necessity, that would be rounded off because you can't, always, you can't enter the exact value of pi ever. 
So to have it be exact, we have to write it like this. That's the idea. Okay.